5, a Haines City teacher now in jail accused of sending nude pictures to a teenage boy and refusing to stop. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Wendy Ryan. And I'm Jamison Euler. Tonight, we uncovered 27-year-old Robin Dunlap would not stop talking to the victim even after turning herself into police. ABC Action News reporter Lauren Rosella is live with the great lengths police say she went through to get in touch with him, Lauren. Yeah, police say that Robin Dunlap started chatting with the 15-year-old all on Xbox One. She was video chatting, according to police, and sending explicit pictures. Next, Robin Nicole Dunlap. Robin Dunlap, a Haines City High School science teacher before a judge Tuesday. The place of employment obviously has me concerned. Police saying she wouldn't stop communicating with an El Paso boy she first met on Xbox One, sending him explicit nude photos. The teen first telling her he was 19. His mom later found his phone and told Dunlap her son was only 15. She turned herself into police after this back in October, but it doesn't stop there. Police say she continued to talk to the boy anyway. Investigators arresting her earlier this week, going through her phone and finding more sexually explicit conversations. She told investigators that she did it because he was the only one who understood her. Yeah, it does disgust me. Parents at Haines City High School, where Dunlap taught physics, say this arrest has them concerned. She's supposed to be a, um, a role model to students and doing that is wrong. Parents now checking in with their own kids who may have had contact with her. So, you know, it's, it's a little bit concerned. Polk County school leaders tell us they're already starting the process to fire her. Now, Dunlap has no prior disciplinary record with the district, and school leaders tell us that they had already put her on administrative leave after reporting to police back in October, and so she has not had contact with local students in months. Reporting live, Lauren Rosella, ABC Action News.